That's right. <laughs> Caution. Several fat people were hurt during the filming of this video. I didn't want anyone to ever go to jail. That is not my intention. Are you going to be arresting him for assault? No, no, no arrest will be made today. I, I put that why, why would that be? Did you not just see the assault? Unwanted touching of an individual is an assault. No, it's not required. Ma'am, what's your job duty? Where, where, where's the bomb, ma'am? Did she lock us in here? Man, this lady just locked us inside of a vault. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Fraud at a Roundup with Sheriff Wyatt, a moron. I want to welcome you back or welcome you back for the second time or fifth time or tenth time. However many times you've been here, I do appreciate you. Help my channel continue to grow by watching my videos, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos. Take that there like button, like it, dislike it. Call the police. Tell them it's holding a bag of cocaine up its rectum. Today, we're taking another look at this guy. Goes by the name Chili De Castro. Channel name is Delete Laws. When I started doing these videos, I wanted to leave something that when I get swept clean of this mortal coil, I knew I'd do something to help make this world a better place. And this guy's one of those frauditors that, oh boy, just gets under my skin. He is true garbage. The only other video I covered of this dude, a wanted fugitive shot a cop. And guess whose side Chili was on? It was not the cop. And if I could just open one person's eye to the fraud that this guy is, I'll have done a little something to make this world a better place. Today he wanders upon a DUI checkpoint. Perfect place for him to spread his anti-police propaganda. But he does come across a Sergeant Tameo from the uh, LAPD who is willing to have a conversation, who brings facts. And of course, Chili ain't having none of it. He can't keep up. And he winds up turning into a Karen. So let's watch. And let's round us up a frauditor. Sobriety checkpoint. Now, how he decides which person he's gonna pull over into the line, I, I don't know. But there's a guy that stands out here and he decides whether or not you get to go through the persecution and the prosecution where you get to get a copper in your face. So, so you see, he, he, just, he just decides this car gets to go and then he'll decide, he'll take a look and he'll go, you know, maybe this car. How does he pick the car that has, oh. As soon as there's, as soon as there's, as soon as there's coppers available to harass you as you drive down the road, as soon as, as soon as there's coppers available for you. Now they, they got three open coppers to interrogate you, to harass you. To keep you and your loved ones safe from drunk drivers on the road. And so, uh, now, because he's got open coppers, come on in, rotate this one in. Oh, that, that, uh, the, 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 see the city worker, their buddies, he gave him like a thumbs up or something like that. And now, so they, they just pull in just three random old cars. Now that, that, that. <laughs> yeah, that really looks like an old car. Yeah, I think he thought that was an old jalopy. He was getting ready to go off on a rant about the police picking on the underprivileged. Next time, Chili. Are there uh, special qualifications you have? Uh, I mean, I, I wonder what is... The special qualifications he has are if there's a thug boot Nazi ready to ask you for your papers. So 
this guy just got to go through. Did he like his car? Is that what it was? Did he enjoy the automobile that he was in? Is that what it was? I'm not sure. Is it me or does Chili look like he's got eyes like a like a lady? I don't know. It looks like he uses a little L'Oreal, a little eyeliner, some eyelashes. Yeah, he must have looked good under them Sally Jesse Raphael glasses. Because they had two thugs available to harass you, but he didn't do that. He just he just let that one go. Maybe he liked the automobile. I'm not quite sure. Now, now this guy's got to pull in here, and he's going to be subjected to being questioned and quizzed by the government because he can't figure out how to solve drinking and driving. He can't solve the alcohol problem in America. And so instead of solving the alcohol problem, we just want to arrest citizens in the United States. Boy, you an idiot. You know how insensitive that is? You think alcohol is a problem that can just be fixed by a snap of the finger by the government? No, you can work on it. You can attack it. You can try and help people. I'm not sure you can solve it overnight. What the hell's wrong with you? It's an absolute embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. We've got a whole administration up here ready to process you into a dungeon. Where they're going to go? They're going to go from... They, 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 all these guys sitting on their ass. So this monstrosity is an extension of Terry versus Ohio. This is the 1990 case of Sitz versus Michigan State Police. An extension of the 1968 case called Terry versus Ohio. This is literally a Nazi checkpoint in the United States of America. So while you're out there getting your constitutional law degree, your journalism degree, your L'Oreal cosmetics degree, how about taking a minute to take a basic English class? Find out what the word literally means. These men will go down in history as being a shame for their families. This is a Nazi checkpoint. This is completely un-American, everything you're seeing here. And remember how this came to be from the 1968 Supreme Court case of Terry versus Ohio. You can't illegally stop people on the street unless they have reasonable, articulable suspicion that someone's driving drunk. Each one of these jackboot thugs sitting here now is literally a Nazi. Each one of them. You'll go down in history as an absolute shame. You really will. I find it pathetic. Each one of you swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. And you have chosen to set up Nazi checkpoints in the United States of America. What an absolute shame. Really. Is it funny? Is it funny? Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. Th this is funny. You get a kick out of this? This is ludicrous. Is it, this is ludicrous. You, you're absolutely correct. This, my friend, is absolutely ludicrous. They got to check your chemicals here in the United States of America. How are, DUI, how are DUIs in America? Are they better? DUIs are way down from the 80s, right? Things are better, right? I don't know. No, they're not. They're worse. They have gone down, but they've flattened out. <laughs> How's it going? They've gone down, but they've flattened out. Right. And that's so, why That's why you just, are you, you ask me a question, and interrupt me, or are you going to just talk over me? you like to do okay they have flattened out there was a sharp decrease they've flattened out and that's the discussion right now is have we have we reached a maximum effectiveness of our efforts have we that's the discussion with the nazi checkpoints these are working i don't i i, I see the city of los angeles i don't see nazi too. anywhere Show me, show me where it says not, no hold show, on no no hold on papers you're gonna show call me your papers you're gonna call me a nazi show me, show me. ladies and gentlemen this is what it looks like when you get your ass handed to you. Boy, this sergeant bought the info. I was able to find this online pretty easily. He bought facts, he bought figures. And what's Chiller's response? Calling him a Nazi. Telling him, show your papers. That's what a little boy would do when he's cornered. Now, you fight facts with facts. Show me where it says Nazi. Let me check your chemicals. No. Let me you, check your chemicals. Show me You're where blowing it's, this straw. Show me where it says follow, Nazi. Follow my finger. Show me where it says follow Nazi. Follow my finger. Show me where it says Nazi. Turn around get on your knees. Show me where it says Nazi. Get on your knees. It says Los Angeles. Why don't I put you in torture cuffs? Where, show, me, show me where there's a swastika anywhere here. Show me. It's, it's right here. This is it. Show me. This is it. When no, you, you're going to call me a Nazi. You, show me where are you, are, you not, are you not acting in the form of a Nazi right no, now? No, I am not. You're not? No. Is this a checkpoint? There's the flag right there. Is this a checkpoint in America? It is. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, there's checkpoints. Okay, and what were they checking for? Let me ask you this, what were they checking for? 
Communism, bro. We're not checking for communism. No, you're checking my chemicals. Can I check your chemicals? Everybody here Only sober? Driving. None of y'all, none of y'all, we, we check your blood. Good thing, and you guys are solving things. Everything's being solved now. Just like yourself. Nobody is solving bit, things. Just like you. Nobody is a bit safer to drive, yes. They do have a box of donuts. Yes, we do. Yeah. You think it's a bit safer to drive? Yeah. You're the fear. You're the danger. Hmm, that is an interesting point. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know in the comments if you're driving down the road, whether you'd rather come across a drunk driver or the LAPD. Sure. How? The, the people here driving no, down the me, road, let me ask, they're afraid let me ask, of you. Let me ask you this. We fear you. You're the let fear. Me ask, you're the you terror. Are you in favor of impaired drivers? You're the terror. Are you in favor of impaired drivers? No, but this isn't working. Well, you just, don't you have the statistics? This isn't yes, working. Yes, it is. It's dropped significantly oh, from the ages. You said so yourself. <laughs> no, it dropped a tiny, tiny No, fraction. it did not. Bro, you can't even keep track of how it many people not. are drunk driving. And you know it. There's more no, people we, drunk driving right. right now in America than in some entire countries. We drive drunk we in this country. Because we have more people. <laughs> oh, you turning the flip. We'll try your best. Can I slap it now? Bro, about to... Hey! Oh my god, it takes my split. I'm not going toward the light. So that's reason to stop? stop so yes, this doesn't can, work. If you that's compare... Reason. Is this working? Is this working? Got the numbers down, yes. Oh, get, you guys are lying. You're lying. They're, they're sitting here lying. You're, Remember, you're, cops you're, lie. You're, Remember that. It's, it's not my opinion. It's, it's, it's a fact. Nazis. You're acting as a Nazi. No, I'm not. Bro, you... Oh my God, get off it, you moron. I'll tell you what, the Nazis were known for doing stuff. Lots of bad stuff. I'm not sure setting up DOI checkpoints was high on their list of sins. And boy, I tell you, if there was a boxing referee here, he would have called this already. You're out, Chili. Show me, you guys be the judge. Show me a swastika and show me where it says Nazi. How come I'm so popular? Oh boy, changing that subject really quickly. I'll tell you what else gets a lot of eyeballs. Train wrecks and car accidents. I don't know, you came to us. No, how me. come I am? Why is that? You know what? I have no idea. Because nobody likes well, this. No, 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 nobody likes this. Nobody, have them here nobody, no appreci no, nobody appreciates this. No, I just walk by. Because You know why? Because everybody else is afraid of you. Nothing to be afraid of. The public is afraid of you. No, they're not. Yes, they... Put a one in the chat if you fear the cops. There's, you, people are afraid. You know what, sir? You have a good night. This conversation. Just, oh, this no longer consensual yeah. conversation. No, it's consensual. I said I'm just gonna. I'm are not you gonna scared? Talk to is he scared? Do you think he's scared? No. <laughs> yeah. just, I can't I'm, wait to attack I'm a cop I'm in front of 20 other cops. <laughs> basically, what doesn't listen and doesn't understand. No, no. Here's the now. Flip it around. You're not listening and you're not understanding. No, I am listening. This doesn't you work. Nazi. And the people hate this. You called me a. The people hate the people see this as well, a Nazi checkpoint. Well, then they just vote. You. There are some states where they don't do checkpoints. Oh, okay, so the way to change that is through legislation. Whoa, this officer is just owning Chile. This is embarrassing. He started as Chile de Castro, he's now Chile de Castrated. You don't show up on scene and try to make change by trying to talk the cops into doing something you want them to do. No, they just enforce the law. They don't make the laws. Unfortunately, though, doing things the right way, like writing your local congressman, your state legislature, that don't get lots of clicks and views. That don't turn into money. The guy flagging people down, does he have some sort of special skill where he can just determine this car looks like they need to be checked? What's his skill set? How do you get that? Yeah, skill set. He just picks four cars at a time. Just picks four cars at a time? No David Copperfield stuff? You can't do that clairvoyant? You can't just decide I'm going to... Yeah, if he could do that, he'd make that. a lot more money than this. Hey, don't even, don't, don't even engage with him. Don't, don't even engage with him. There's always one of those. Don't answer to the public. Don't, don't you dare face these tough questions of, this doesn't work, why are we still doing it? This doesn't work, why are we still doing it? Now, if in you was paying attention... You'd realize these guys are trying to have a conversation with you, but you're not having any of it. You're talking over them, calling a Nazi. It doesn't work. Ladies and gentlemen, look up the research. It doesn't work. This... Talk. Come talk to you. So he wants to be a, a, a YouTube star. No, I'm not shocked at all. What are your... I'll talk to you. They're working. What are your other... Oh, they're working? Man, you know. Bro, how's it going? Have another donut. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. He's going to come threaten me now that I, I'm not allowed to be on the sidewalk. What did I got to tell you before? This no is weapon. a public right of way. I'm allowed to use my freedom gonna, of speech anytime I like. I don't have to listen to you. You're right. You. <laughs> so I don't have to this, interfere. This actually is my business. I'm a member of the press. So he's trying to intimidate me. I won't back down one inch. You're a journalist, a constitutional law scholar. Why stop there? Want to be a spaceman, a fireman, president of the United States? If he wants to arrest me, he's more than welcome to do so. And as you guys know what I'll do, I'll put his name up on Google in the federal civil rights lawsuit I file against this pig as well. Come over here, act up with me. Let me tell the pig up front. My feet won't move from right here. I'll continue to talk for as long as I'd like. I'll even raise my voice a little bit. What are you going to do about it? You weren't doing that. You were no, no, I'll say table. even louder. I'll talk louder. What are you going to do about table. it? You're not going to do a damn thing because you know it's table. my right. You're supposed to uphold my right. I can touch hands. a table. Look at that. Sir. Oh, my God. Oh, you quick. Do it. Sir. You'll be my seventh federal civil rights lawsuit. Do it. Oh, what a brave, tough man. Disobeying orders that he ain't even given you. And have there ever been any more shallower or emptier threats than a lawsuit from Chile? What's your record in court, Chile? You ain't Denny Crane. Sir. Do it! I'll touch the table any damn time I want because I own it. You work for me, chumpzilla. You work for me, buddy. That's a fact. Talk is cheap. You really own him? Prove it. Take him to your office and fire him. If you don't believe me, then I'll, I'll willingly go with you. I won't resist the arrest. I'll touch the table any damn time I want. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Hundreds of thousands of people will watch this. What are you going to do about it, thug? You're not going to do a damn thing. <laughs> You're not going to do a damn thing because you know as well as I do, you'll be wrong and eventually, it'll take me two to six years, eventually I get you and I get you demoted right before you retire. Eventually I get you. Because you're a dunce cap and I'm a constitutional law scholar. That's the difference between me and you. Well, we're going to find out soon in this video that this officer is a sergeant in the LAPD. There's also a sergeant in the military. And I'll tell you what, those are designations you can't give yourself. Like the only titles you have. I have tons of skills, you have one. Following orders and being a jackboot thug pig. You came over here to threaten me over touching a table. Oh my God, he's got his finger on the table, ladies and gentlemen. That would be an unreasonable arrest, a violation of my Fourth Amendment right. And I would sue this jackboot thug in two seconds flat, as you guys know. We still playing games here? I'm, 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 if it's a Mexican standoff, this Mexican ain't moving. You called me a Mexican. I said this is a Mexican standoff. And I'll say it again, this is a Mexican standoff. Mexican again, standoff, me Mexican. Mexican standoff, Mexican standoff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear God. You racist piece of shit. What the hell is wrong with you? And by the way, anybody who's ever seen a Quentin Tarantino movie can tell you that ain't a Mexican standoff. Mexican standoff requires three parties, you idiot. He can't curb my speech or change it in any way, shape, or form. He has no power over me. I can stand here. I will not be intimidated by a thug. If he can, I'll let him arrest me, boys and girls, as you guys know. I'll let him arrest me, no problem. I'll be out by the morning, and then I'll have the lawsuit filed by Monday afternoon. What's your name and badge number again, just so people know who you are in case I got to see you? My name is Sergeant Tomeo, 3087. Mr. Tomeo, 3307. I'm Mr. Tomeo, Sergeant Tomeo. Oh, did you serve in the military? 3087, yes, I did. So did you get to a sergeant in the military? Yes, I did. Okay, so you're a military sergeant. This is a, this is a civilian operation. The whole problem with the police is the ranking system, which was put into a place by who? Who was it? August Vollmer in 1929, who wrote what? The Policeman Handbook. I know you don't know your history. You're a dunce cap. He doesn't even know what Mexican standoff now, means. Now you're, now you're calling me. You're a dunce cap, term. bro. You're a dunce cap. First you called me a Mexican. Now you call bro, me. Bro, you're a dunce cap. Term. You're a cop. So. <laughs> I'm, you're not a sure, I'm not exactly sure where you're trying to go with this, but calling me names isn't going to get you there. Dunce okay? cap? Bro, you don't understand. There's so many people who love what I do. They love it. Well, they want to walk up to you. That you talk to them. And, and they, they're too afraid to go stand their ground against you. They're too afraid to go to jail. They can't deal with going to jail. You talk to them. Bro, you, you're, you're making yourself famous right now, bro. Thank you so much. Not really sure what your issue is with this officer. He's been sitting there patiently trying to have a conversation with you. He trying to order you around, curb your speech, get you off the sidewalk. 
the hell's wrong with you? Thank you so much. See, I'm not like what you would call a social media person. In 2020, I got tired of you cops murdering people, so I started going after you guys because I'm a constitutional law scholar. And you see? You see? I thought you had a job to do. Man, what happened to all the work he was doing a second ago? He had all this work to do, and now there's no work to do anymore. I mean, he had, he had this amazing job he was doing a moment ago, and now there's no more work. <laughs> he has no expectation of privacy in public. I can, I can literally try to see what he's looking at, and he can't do anything about it. He's in public. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how he decided on this one. He just decided on this one that they were all good. A simple rolling down of the window and then they're, they're good. If you comply and you do what the jackboots want you to do, then you're good to go through. If you question why I have to give my driver's license, then you gotta go to secondary. Maybe get a mandatory blood draw for you. Maybe it's implied consent from the DMV and you lose your driver's license. And as for you, uh, Mr. Romero, I just always like the cops to know exactly where we stand with you guys. I just like you to know what we think of you. That's I just enjoy it. I, it's my favorite thing to do is to put you in your place and to teach you that you don't know anything about the First Amendment. You don't know anything about our rights. You're a dunce cap. It's my favorite thing to do. There's, there's nothing I like more. And this is the people's property. Don't let cops push you around. It would be an unreasonable arrest, which would give me grounds for my federal civil rights law. It would be my seventh. And please, please show us what you got to show for it. And before I forget, stay out of Ironton. Well, I could tell by that sundial, it's time to say goodnight. But little beans on the fire. A little ghost locker in my chalice. And as always, cuddle up with a clean shirt and a dirty woman. Good night. I bid you adieu.